okay guys welcome to um, our second video on open GLES and um, so if you have uh, if you have not seen the first video like maybe search on YouTube and you just jump on this video you can make reference to other videos just check my channels check my playlist you can find open GL uh, ES tutorial and follow from tutorial one uh, that will be very good for you and actually if you love this tutorial don't forget to subscribe like and share my video videos and um, so today we're going to talk about okay so um, we're going to be talking about the basics of uh, this open GLS. so Android um, other system supports uh, OpenGL graphics um, through its framework and also through the NDK, which means Native Development Kit. So, but in this series, we are just talk, um, we are going to be focusing on the framework of Android, um, which is quite uh, easy from uh, developing it. Uh, the NDK because the NDK we are going to be developing the C++ and you you, you need to know um, about C++ and how to integrate it in Android system so so there are two uh, fundamental class in the Android framework that lets you manipulate and handle and uh, open GLE as graphics and um, if you if you forget we are, we are we are developing by using android um to develop our application our graphic application so um so we are talking about class two class two fundamental class that let you manipulate and uh, and uh, be able to implement implement the graphics of open GLES, which first the first one is called so um so the two class are gl surface view and um gl surface view dot renderer so if your goal is to uh implement or uh, add open gl graphics to your application um your first uh your first uh priority should be how to um integrate this OpenGL graphic you are going to develop into an Android activity okay into Android activity okay so uh, GL surface view this class is a view where you can draw and manipulate ob objects using OpenGL API calls and is similar in function to a surface view you can use this class by creating an instance of GeoSurface view and adding your renderer to it. However, if you want to capture touch screen events, you should extend the GeoSurface view class to implement the touch listener as shown in the project training. Okay, GeoSurface view the renderer. This interface defines the method required for drawing graphics in a GeoSurface view. You must provide an implementation of this interface as a separate class and attach it to your GL surface view instance using GL surface view to set renderer. The, the, the GL surface view to renderer interface requires that you implement the following method. Once you first create, once you first created, um, the system calls this method once one creating the GL surface view okay so we are going to be talking about those and uh, once you have uh, established a container view for OpenGL using GL surface view and GL surface view renderer you can begin calling OpenGL APIs using the following following class like with Android that open GL that GLES 2.0 this package provide the interface to open GL 2.0 and is available starting with Android 2.2 API level 
eight. And uh, oh. um, so we're talking about OpenGL Graph ES with Android. And uh, so we quite say that this class what uh, you through the basics of developing applications that use OpenGL, including setup, drawing up objects, moving drawn elements, and responding to touch inputs. The example code in this class uses the OpenGL ES 2.0 API, which is the recommended API version to use with current Android devices. For more information about version of OpenGL, you can go to um, android.developer.com um, slash graphic, image graphic. Yeah. So we are going to start by building an OpenGL ES. So building an OpenGL ES environment. So we are going to be learning how to set up an Android application to be able to draw OpenGL graphics. So let's go into the environment. Um, this environment we're talking about is just creating a container for our graphic application, our graphic display, you know, just for uh, a container where our OpenGL graphic will reside in. And in order to draw graphics with OpenGL ES in your Android application, you must create a view container for them. One of the more straightforward way to do this is to implement both a GL surface view and a GL surface view that renderer. A GL surface view is a view container for graphic drawn with OpenGL and GL surface view that renderer controls what is drawn within that view. For more information about these classes, you can go to the OpenGL ES developer guide in Android um, development. Joseph as you is just one of one way to incorporate OpenGL ES graphic into your application for more. For a full screen or near full screen graphic view, it is a reasonable choice. Developers who want to incorporate OpenGL ES graphics in a small portion of their layouts should take a look at texture view for real do it yourself developer it, it is also possible to build up an open gel view using gels first view but this requires writing quite a bit of additional codes this lesson explains how to complete a minimal implementation of gels first view and gel surface view dot renderer in a simple application activity in order for you for your application to use the open gel es 2.0 API, you must add the following declaration in your manifest. So, but for now, let's start and create an Android um, project. In our Android Studio, you can use whatever ID you are using in your Android development environment. So, click Start a New Android Studio Project. Project, and um, I'm going to choose NT Activity, and. Um, so we are going to name this um, this application, this graphic application. But actually, we are not just bombing bombing into developing a fast um, graphic application like game. But no, what we are doing here is that we are going to go into the step, the concept, uh, the keys, and the implementation of this graphic, and. Uh, we are going to be using all this to draw some other stuff draw so at the end of this series we are going to build uh, maybe we are going to build a game or we are going to build uh, a graphic application or just anything that will just incorporate OpenGL stuff in so let's create this as let's name this project as my open gl yes application okay so now it's good to go make sure your language is in java and then click next so this same process is just the same thing with open with ios devices just that you need to just create uh, a container for the open gel to reside and this container is 
um, this container will be an iOS uh, view container. Okay, okay, now let's. Okay, let's wait for this to build and um, okay, so um, we are here in Android Studio and um, doesn't matter what ID you are using, doesn't matter, just so this is an activity of Android. If we run this code here right now you are going to see an android activity now running in our device in our android device and um so oh okay android application that use open gls have activities just like any other application that has a user interface the main difference from other application is what you put in the layout for your activity while in many application you might use texture view, button, and list view. In an app that uses OpenGLDS, you can also add a GL surface view. The following um, step you, uh, code here, shown here, is an Android activity, simple Android activity that when you run it, you see an Android activity. Okay, and um, so we are going to start by creating this container. In, so back then i was telling you about container for our graphic and uh, i'm going to tell you this thing so if you are developing for an ios device you can also follow this tutorial because upon gles is the same thing also in any other platform but it's only that we need to we need to create we need to write um some code of that platform to be able to adapt this uh, program to that specific platform okay and the platform is having different languages entirely okay so but if you are using like an NDK native and development kit by C++ is very easy and your application may run in all of the devices either um, PC either, um, mobiles and other stuff so let's get into this stuff so now we are going to create a container this container is called GL surface view it's a view of OpenGL um, by Android and uh, actually we are not going to be using we are going to be using this class which is GL surface view but by let me say by inheriting this class with another class that we we created ourselves so we're going to create a class afresh and we are going to inherit from the geo surface view as uh, our parents or something like that you understand so we are going to name this class I'm going to name it like open my open geo view okay and um, my open geo open geo view so quite um, interesting and uh, I want to name it upon GL okay uh, let me just give it a little name so actually there's an error here saying um, cannot resolve symbol my upon GL view so I'm going to just copy the name so this uh, this is going to be a class that we're going to be creating okay um, Sorry, uh, what the fuck? So let's create a class in um in our Android. So click on this app here. Let's create a class of Java class new and um, sorry. So let's create a Java class. Um, you're going to name this with the name we create here so control v my open job view which is the name of the class and I click ok ok now so we create a class and then um, the error will be resolved don't forget to subscribe like and share my videos if you like it and um, actually now you can see the